Hello, Ms. Tilson here. This is a short video to show you how to put a plinth under several cabinets. Let's uh, start off a little project here in project mode and let's just add a new cabinet to it. Let's take this new cabinet and let's give it a plinth elevation of 100 millimeters. We have now a plinth elevation underneath our cabinet. I'm going to put several cabinets, I'm not going to put a plinth in here, but I'm going to put several cabinets. Let's uh, just put this new model here. I'm going to put a couple of these things, I'm going to line them up, one, two, three, four, like this, let's put just three here, let's change their width to, let's change their width to one meter, so that they will all now be one meter wide, and we have, if we look in 3D, we have three cabinets, one after the other, all lined up. I would like to put a plinth under all three cabinets. Well, the easiest way to do this is to take the model. We see that there is a plinth elevation underneath here. If I click underneath and I put a plinth, let's put a plinth on the front and let's put, set it back 50 mil. And let's take away everything um, but the plinth. Let's get rid of the top. Let's get rid of the bottom. Let's get rid of the sides and and the back and everything. So this cabinet now is the same cabinet but with the plinth. Uh, let's let's get rid of it and let's say this is now called plinth. Now we have in our list here the models that we already have in our in our um, project and we have a plinth. If I take this plinth I can now clip it onto my other models and if we look in 3D we can see that this plinth now sits itself underneath the model very simply but it's not part of each model and if I just change the width here to 3000 it's now 3000 long it's it's been modified the length has been modified on the wrong side but I can just clip it onto my other models here and we now have a plinth which goes all the way along our three cabinets and will come up in the cutting list as a plinth three meters long